वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स टू सेकेंड प्रैक्टिकल एक्टिविटी ऑफ चैप्टर फोर वर्किंग विद टेबल्स ऑल राइट स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट मी टेल यू हाउ टू एंटर डेटा इन अ टेबल After finalizing structure of a table in design view if you want to enter data in it you need to open it in the data sheet view Follow these steps to open the table in the data sheet view and enter data in it Select the table name which you want to open in the navigation pane Double click on the table The table will open and it will look like an Excel spreadsheet displaying all the fields defined in the structure. Apart from fields, you will also find a blank row with a asterisk symbol. Type the data in the appropriate fields. Press either the enter or tab key to move to the next field. When the data is entered in a row, a new blank row will appear automatically. You can insert any number of records in a table. You can view the record numbers at the bottom of the screen in the record navigation bar. Let me share a tip now. Press the Shift plus Tab key to move to the previous field. If you press the tab key on the last field the cursor automatically jumps to the next row. You can also find any record in the currently open table by searching it using the record search box. Place the cursor in the search box in the navigation pane. Type a word that appears on the record you would like to find and press enter. To view additional records that match your search press enter again. Let me explain you about editing records in a table. After entering data in a table, sometimes it is required to make changes in the database. This can be done in various ways. To edit a record directly, scroll through the records or use the record navigation buttons to find the record to edit. Double click the cell where you want to make changes. Type the information into the field. A pencil icon appears to indicate the edit mode. Click outside the record to apply the change. Adding a field. Open a table in database view. Right click on the drop down arrow of the field where you want to insert a field. The context menu appears. Select the insert field option. The new field named as field 1 will be inserted before the selected field. Deleting a field. To delete the column, follow the steps given below. Select the column by clicking on the column header and press the delete key or right click on the column and select the delete field option from the context menu. A dialog box appears asking for your confirmation. Click yes to confirm the deletion. Click no if you want to cancel the deletion. Students know that likewise by right clicking on a particular field you can hide or unhide the field. Students let us take a quick view. To rename a field double click on it and type a new name for it. Moving a field. Open the table in data sheet view, select the field header, drag and drop the field to the desired location. While dragging you will find a dark line appearing between the fields. This indicates the position where the field will be placed. As you release the mouse button, the selected field will be placed at the new location. Okay, now we will discuss inserting about adding a new row. Select the table in navigation pane. Click the view button available on the home tab and select the design view option from the drop down menu. The table will open in design view. Place the cursor on the field before which you intend to add a new field. On the design tab, select the insert rows option in the tools group. A new blank row is inserted before the selected row. 
define the name, data type and properties for the new field. Now we will talk about deleting a row. Select the row that you want to delete. Click on the delete rows button on the design tab in the tools group and observe the change in the table. Let me give you a tip. You can also delete rows by selecting delete rows option from the context menu. Now we will discuss about sorting data within a table. We can sort data within a table with respect to a particular field either in an ascending or descending order. To sort the data follow the steps given below. Select the field that you wish to sort. Click on the drop down arrow next to the right of the field. Select either sort smallest to largest or sort largest to smallest option from the drop down list. Observe the change in the database. Okay students, now let me give you some important tips. The sort buttons ascending or descending on the home tab is another way to sort the data. To clear your sort, click on the remove sort command on the home tab in the sort and filter group. 